Quixote de la Mancha. Come to restore the lost age of chivalry. Well, I wrote that. Blasphemer. Aha. Of our God in heaven who wrote me. Can I read? <laughs> the peasant like you cannot read. I will sound the words, and you can look at the pictures. He actually believes he's done Quixote. This is going to be fun. Though by then, I wasn't thinking. It was just, uh, the sound was a bit too loud, or the picture was a little bit wrong. I'm into details at that point, so it's very hard for me to judge the movie when we finally get it all done. And then I rely on other people to say, was it good? Did you understand it? Was it too long? Was it boring? And I, I always do screenings and talk to the audience like that to find out, because I don't know at that point, because I'm too close to it. And having watched the movie a hundred times, it's very hard to see it. I just know when I go and see it with a big audience now, and they're enjoying it, I'm happy. I'm very happy. That's great. <laughs> did, you, did you ever give up? Yep. No. Yep. <laughs> I went and made, did a couple other films in all those years, so because I had to do something to make a living. <laughs> no. That was the big change after the Jolly Depp version because before he went back into the 17th century, it was time travel. And I thought, that's boring. And the idea of, it's about making a film and what that does to people's lives became more interesting. It also became more interesting to have a man who was a little shoemaker who would get to play the part being an actor, which made him crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, it took a long time because I kept saying no to Jonathan. And eventually I gave up. <laughs> But it took my friend Mike Palin, who was Quixote before, to quit. So that's Jonathan got a job. And Adam was the right guy, because I'd been through so many different actors who I'd convinced myself were the right one. But when I first met Adam, our very first meeting, I had not seen him in anything. And it just, the guy, yes, I like this guy. He's very, he's very new, he's very different. He's not at all the character I was thinking of. And there was something just inside of him, I thought, this is great, and he's brilliant. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a very difficult business. And uh, you've got, if you're not, I wouldn't do it. I think the really successful film directors are probably not crazy. They just do a job. <laughs> There's an awful lot of them in Hollywood. They don't seem to be inspired by anything. They're good technicians, and they're the ones that make the real money. <laughs> well, if you're not making a Marvel movie, why well, make a movie? <laughs> They're the ones that are everywhere. It's really gotten sad because the saddest thing is you can make a very cheap movie for nothing or a very expensive movie. It's the middle range of movies that nobody puts money in anymore and those are, should be the really interesting ones, but they're not being made now. Well, they're better, different than American because a lot of American actors are method actors. That's a different world. But the Spanish actors are just like English ones. They're great. I mean, look, I mean, the cast we have is extraordinary cast. And those are people that make me look like I know what I'm doing because they're so much smarter than me and they're doing things that aren't in the script. They're bringing it alive. And working on, during the shooting, it was the one thing that made me happy every day. They, every day the actors would surprise me with new ways of doing things. It was great. Yeah, exactly that, right. that's why I was growing my beard yeah. mustache to be, look more like it. Uh, yeah, there's always an element. Uh, all the characters in the movie, I'm, I'm all of those characters, actually. There's a bit of me in every one of them. I only know how to do movies with characters that I can identify with. Every one of those characters in there I identify, even the women I identify with. Yeah. Sure, Spain's great. It's got great, really great technicians here. There's a lot of energy that people throw into it. I mean, it was, it was a great shooting here. Yeah. It doesn't, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people haven't read the history of this. They'll come in, they'll pay their money, and maybe they'll have a good time. I don't know. I, I don't know, I think it's very difficult. People should just go in with a completely open mind, forget about the pain, <laughs> the waste of human life that went into making it. Because I don't think any of that shows in the film. I think the, show, the film is very joyous, it's full of life. It's not about all of the nonsense that went into making it. And that's my job, is to push the past out. The making of the film is something different. <laughs>